control. Control is at the heart of all systems in the IT. Many ventilation systems are put in a very simple way and don't offer precise control or communication. In this system here at, at um, M247, we put these coolers in pairs, the stacked pairs of coolers, and each cooler had its own, has its own PLC controller, which is then linked to a master controller. How we control a computer room set is on two things, temperature and pressure. We monitor the pressure, in this case, of the raised floor, the underside of the raised floor. Because we know if we're achieving, in this case, 20 pascal of pressure in that underfloor, we're getting the right flow. And a key part of commissioning is to understand how your raised floors are working and how your total flow rate of the, of the server room uh, is operating. What is required and give it the right amount. Also, it gives us a control measure. If something fails that we haven't been able to pick up um, automatically or electronically, the pressure will drop, the system will see the pressure drop, and all the other cooling systems and their fans will ramp up their speed accordingly and raise an alarm condition. All this is linked together through what we call our correct control panel. Within a correct control panel, these PLCs, we are using a, um, uh, a microprocessor controller using the called Boolean logic, and or not case. But that gives us full what's called analog control. We can measure true temperatures and true pressures and true conditions. And that's all linked together with also this facility for either Ethernet link into your existing network systems or if you're using building management systems and Modbus to communicate in one direction all the operating parameters of temperature, pressures, fault conditions, etc. And then as an input, temperature set points, alarm conditions, fire alarm, smoke alarm, smoke, um, fire suppression, purge requirements, etc. All linked together on one common control system. What did we really end up with? Now, I said that M247 are a well-managed business. Many data centres don't really measure themselves at all. Some data centres measure themselves in a very crude way. M247 look at themselves every 30 seconds and know what's going on. They're monitoring their PUE temperatures continuously. And they're calculating their PUE continuously. And you can see there, after this was installed, we were getting a PUE of, of 1.2, 1.18. I think the lowest I've seen there is 1.17. Now for these guys to achieve less than 1.2 is a real world-class performance. Google claimed to have the most efficient data centers in the world of about 1.2, 1.22. You see some very bespoke designs now being, uh, now being put forward, but are really based on very, very custom engineered solutions for fixed size data centers. To take a legacy data center and retrofit a simple piece of equipment and achieve this world-class performance is, a, is a, a position which they're rightly very proud of and, of course, financially makes a very big difference. Privately owned business, so the guys making the decision are clearly in tune with what their decision making. David Buckle, the very capable guy, the MD, very conscious of, of the performance. This project delivered exactly what he wanted. And, in terms of Chris Bird, the technical director, equally important is the consistency and the reliability of the equipment and the consistency of the, deliver of the conditions within the data center. And, last year, you see, we did, have a, we did have a warm period for a few weeks last year. First warm year we've had for probably five years. 
that system where I explained we could turn the cracks on, you can also use that to turn the cracks on if you have an over temperature situation. Last year there was no requirement to switch the cracks on at all in this installation. So what can we do? Using fresh air systems and evaporative cooling we can create compliant conditions for modern IT equipment. Modern IT equipment is robust. It has a wide operating temperature range. It has a wide operating humidity range. It doesn't require perfectly sterile, perfectly dust-free conditions. We don't have open drives, we don't have open bearings now. Your modern kit is robust. If you embrace the, that widening of those operating standards, then you can implement a ventilation scheme based on these principles and reduce your energy bill of your cooling by over 90%. Now in most cases that means that you can reduce the energy usage of your data centre by a half with a capital investment which could pay for itself in under a year.